Hello guys, this is Lotos. Today I want to review new Edge Pen or Edge Code Applicator from Uta Leathercraft Tools. I'll put a link in the description in the comment box where you can purchase this. Uh, this arrived uh, a while ago. I tried to test it and it's it's quite good. And I would like to just show you what it looks like um, from the packaging and also how it's to be used, things like that. Yeah? So, uh, this is a pen from Giardini. I find it this tool highly effective. It has a very interesting corn shape. It's a brass tip. It has a very tiny reservoir between these um, uh, grooves uh, in, in this corn. And uh, it's a very highly effective tool. Only downside is that maybe uh, the, the, this reservoir, you need to clean it, um, you need to um, clean with a sharp tip, needle, or oil. This tool is highly effective. Another interesting tool, uh, this is Chinese copy of um, a famous tool company called Aprosa in France. Um, but this is a, a copy, this is not original. You can easily um, exchange a tip. It's a um, highly um, efficient, um, very fast, rotating, freely move, moving um, tip. You dunk um, edge coat this tip. It's a mesh tip. So you can put a lot of reservoir into that mesh and you can use it. I'm not sure if because of this is copy or the whole thing is just a um, gimmick. Uh, I don't find it this as a highly effective as much as these two. Um, if I compare these two, I'll choose this one rather than this one. Uh, it just smudges a bit too much for me at least. So I need a little more practice maybe to use this tool. And uh, yeah, so that was my um, conclusion in between these two. Traditionally, normally, um, what people use is this oil. So uh, it's just a simple oil. This happens to be a Bezier Blanchard brand. It doesn't have to be Bezier Blanchard brand, but if it's a round oil, which is a, is a round surface, and has a very, very sharp tip, you can also put it a um, very tight corner. You can also um, apply edge coat. Um, still, a lot of makers, um, industry makers, still apply edge coat um, like this and so it's um, quite good yeah but then again uh, if you're looking for something interesting uh, something more uh, sophisticated you may want to look for a um, new tool like this and you may try which suits for you because um, using an oil what it takes is that you, you need to apply a little often uh, to make it to make it um, even I mean it depends on what kind of personality you have. You might find it more effective using this deep and apply, deep and apply. I don't know, it's up to you. So uh, there's no best method or um, things like that, but it's just, um, I think it depends on the personality. Yeah, so that's that. And so let's take a look at the packaging. So package arrived like this. Uh, it's rather very fair, simple packaging. They didn't do any extra, which I I'm, I find it very okay. I mean, it doesn't have to be a super fancy packaging. So they give you different tips. This is a, it looks like to be replacement tip for this drum, this mesh drum. No. So it rotates very fairly freely. And uh, it's a very thin mash have to keep in a safe place it looks like this is aluminum drum doesn't have any mesh but has a groove yeah it's an aluminum drum you can change it yeah also try to change it and I'll use it so this might be a wrong really wrong video oh the back space Ah, okay, I can see that there's a ball bearing inside. Um, not sure if you can also see it. There's a tiny ball bearing inside, which oops, which makes it possible to freely move like this. Huh? Okay, I understand now. Hmm. Okay, I have to remind you, this drum and the shaft is fixed. So the whole thing, this whole thing is together. This whole thing is together. And this part, the whole thing rotates freely with an axle of the handle so keep in mind that this is not the rotating part this whole part is rotating so I can just take it off and 
Yeah. Maybe I can take it off and this this brass drum has a has a thread inside. You can uh, untwist it. Uh, yeah, you can you can twist it like this. Uh huh. I see. Yeah. And you can use it like that. So you can. That's how you replace your drum. Yeah. So let's use this mesh first. And yeah, let's try on ladder. I'm going to try on different ladder, uh, more realistically, also very thin ladder, chrome ladder, vegetable tan ladder, cow ladder, goat ladder, and the edge coat that I'm going to use in this video is Stahl edge coat. Yeah, color is black. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. For edge coating job, you need some kind of sacrificial space. So you don't get your workspace too dirty. So this is just a cardboard box. I'm using a cereal box, um, just average cereal box, because I don't have the sheet I used to have. So this will be my um, um, spontaneous, uh, what is it called, um, improvised sheet for um, this dirty work. So uh, let's try on this very thick chrome matter first. Now it's um, fairly thick, it has a no stiffness, so it's very flimsy. Well, so it will be a good example of what it looks like. So, um, Also, your water lady, just in case you need to wash something, or your hands, also some tissue. Yeah. So, just dunk it. Mm -hmm. What's good about this application pen is, it has a very long tip, you know, so you can dunk it deeply. Even though your edge coat is almost near the bottom, you can just tilt your bar bottle and you can just dip it and you have your edge coat. So, not to amount of to drip, just about this much, you know. It, it doesn't drip, just holding it together. You know, and then you roll it, you know. So, you see it clearly? Mm -hmm. So every edge pan, you need some practice, at least. You know? So like this. You know? So, it's edge coat job, like this. So normally, it looks like this. This is normal edge. And this is edge coat edge. You know? Didn't spill anywhere, just like this. No, that's that. And I am going to use this Naoki San's edge coat dryer rack. Tuck. Yeah. So this is another brown leather. This is Baranya. Yeah. Raw edge, nothing applied. Without dipping it, I'll just try to apply again. Hmm, there isn't much. Yeah, oh, there is, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is about, that was about 3 to 4 millimeter thick. This one is about 2 millimeter thick, yeah. Mm hmm. It applies nicely. Yeah. So, surface, no bleeding. So, didn't come out to the surface. Edge coat. Yeah. Back, no bleeding on this side as well. Yeah. I have to tell you in this video, do not focus on the technique of the edge coat application. I mean, how you finish your edge. Yeah. Do not focus on how to finish your edge. This is more video of how this pen really functions in. in applying it. So only the applying is what matters in this video. Yeah? Edge, edge coat finish, how many you apply and how many um, how many you uh, apply and sand. And this thing I already talked about in different videos. So uh, in this video, please concentrate on just applying the edge coat. I just, when I was doing this, I just spilled one drop into my uh, work surface. I want to keep my 
Works up is very clean. I do prefer that way. So uh, let's try on bright nada. Uh, this is this is vegetable, typical vegetable tan nada. Uh, this is also very thick. It's a one piece nada. I say four millimeter thick. Uh, a little bit. Mm -hmm. I will have to wait for it. That doesn't drip from from the applicator. So not too much. Don't do it too much. Okay. Let's try this bumping area where you have to be a little careful. So doesn't matter you put which you put your side on, but at least it's better to have the unknown, I mean unseen area more like to bleed rather than the presentation side. So maybe a little more careful into how to apply, how not to not to bleed on the other side. No, just looking at it. So, again, didn't bleed. Mm -hmm. Edge coat. And didn't bleed this side either. Yeah. So you gotta, you gotta need some practice, and this tool is already good enough, so um, helps you um, in a way. Another edge coat in this side as well. Mm -hmm. So edge coat, no bleeding. Yeah. So let's put this to the edge part. Yeah. And let's try to clean this. Yeah. Let's try to clean this in the water. This is just a normal water from tap. I'll just dunk this in this t t tube, yeah? Tub. Mm -hmm. Very shake. And I'll show you what it looks like into this water. So it cleans really good, I think. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's not perfect. I can see some residue in the corners. But then oh the still wire is popping out. But then yeah should I say it's a flaw? Yeah but it's okay, I think. I can just cut it off with some ply or nipper. Yeah, so cleans easily like that. Yeah. So put it aside. Mm -hmm. And let's change it to aluminium bar. Yeah. So just like I showed you the first part of the video, front part of the video, I should it just this thing rotates. This brass tip rotates very easily. Hold it like this and then rotate this part and then it comes off. And then put this, oh. Ah, has to be screwed on, this, this part has to be screwed on too. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I see, so, yeah, I never did that. Okay, so, guys, this is a interesting part. So for aluminium bar, there is the the bra is supposed to not it's not supposed to come at the top because it is exactly the same diameter size. Actually it doesn't fit, so it just screws on like like this. So let's try. Uh, do I have the same thickness leather somewhere? Yeah, why don't we try on the same leather that we did last time? Uh, I did this first, so let's do it on this side. Yeah, exact same leather, just next to it. Yeah, so already dunk it. Obviously, I don't have to wait too long on this one because it doesn't have any reservoir. It's just the aluminum parts. So not sure how it will perform. I never really actually tried aluminum, by the way. It's actually 
interesting idea. Hmm. Yeah, so. It's like this. Yeah. So. No, it's not bad. Okay. Because aluminum has a really good nerves. Um, uh, it just rotates easier than the mesh ones because it grips into the surface of the leather. Mm. Did not spill either. Other side doesn't also. But the one thing I already can notice is that because if this is not a mesh construction, this is just aluminum bar, it doesn't hold much edge paint, uh, which is obvious. You know what I mean? So, the wet ink part, okay, I'm missing one spot here. So, aluminum part have to consideration into many things, huh? Just get used to one tool and stick with it, it's, it's actually the best way. No? So, again, Varenia, nice edge coat. Let's do the other side with this aluminum type. Mm, see, there's one drop. This is why you need this sacrificial piece. Yeah. So, yeah, so, let's try with too much of also intentionally. You know what I mean? Uh, this is actually too much. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, it's a bit too much. Too much by me, like this. It's like, the edge coat is has formed a a, a, a drop a, of of a surface in, in, onto the leather, uh, but let's try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, just fine. It is fine. No bleeding. On this side also no bleeding yeah I'm not sure if you have noticed I'm utilizing the whole area so what I did was as I roll it down I use the front part and also if I need more I use it to the the down part of the the, the aluminum part so that I can utilize the all of the edge coat that has accumulated in this in this um, nailing of the um, edge coat I mean sorry the aluminum part so I'm utilizing the whole area of the aluminum part. Yeah. It has a much better rolling uh, into the leather obviously because there's a solid um, kind of uh, aluminum bar. It's more grippy than this um, aluminum, I'm uh, sorry, uh, this aluminum part is more grippier. It's grippier um, than this mesh, mesh, um, mesh bar or mesh drum. Yeah. Let's try continuously without dipping it, uh, see how it works. Yeah, see, uh, can't do it with uh, one, one, one go, have to dip it again. Let's try it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Surface looks good. No, surface looks um, very pretty. No bleeding. A little bit here, almost, just a little bit, but uh, it's okay. You can you can uh, take care of that later. No. So bottom, uh, back side also, you already see no bleeding. Just the edge put there. Yeah. So normally you would put it in a dry rack, but I'll just put it aside just for the video. And wash it. Let's see how it goes. I think wash washing is easier with this aluminum part. There's not so many of a space to the edge coats can get in. Oh, yeah. See, it came out clean. Yeah. So that is it. It, it. it cleans easily. So 
that's that. One thing you have to be careful to is that do not put your water into the edge coat. You might damage your edge coat. So um, dry it completely. Just drain it. Make sure there's no water inside. Just into every hole and dip it again for your next project. Mm -hmm. So maybe just before we close up, let's try really thin leather with this aluminum part. Or maybe let's try with a with a mesh mesh um, drum again. Mm -hmm. Because thin leather is oftentimes much more difficult than the thick one. Yeah, so. Edge, yeah, normal edge like this, very thin. This is more more like one millimeter thick. Yeah, very realistic in real edge craft. I have to dunk it. Mm -hmm. Just a weight, little bit. Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh. you see some bleeding. That was a bit too much uh, from the beginning. Yeah. Um, see, in this case, you can just push it over. Into one direction, just clean surface, push it over. Just push it to this direction. So. Uh, it's a savable at least. You know? This is how you save your um, bleeding edge. So, again, edge coat, presentation side, back side, no bleed, and this is the edge coat, yeah? edge coat side. So, uh, with a little bit of practice of of, um, of a tool like this, can make you um, more efficient. Uh, but tool doesn't make you perfect edge. It's actually the practice and also the skill matters a lot. So, if you are interested in to this um, tool, go ahead and purchase it. I recommend this. Uta Leather Tools makes quite good products with a really good price. It's uh, it's a uh, one of the quality makers I recommend. So I'll put the link in the description box in the comment box where you can purchase directly. So you have to look for it. So yeah, so again, clean drum, that's it. Hope you like guys like this video. If you have liked this, like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.